the welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori, and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook, and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. Okay, I am fixing to put on a dish of green beans. And I thought, I'm going to bring y'all with me because I really think that some of y'all will really like this recipe for these green beans. This is for your holiday table. This is not your green bean casserole or, you know, just some throw together green beans in a, in a pot with a little bit of seasoning. This is called Arkansas green beans. We've got some really good cooks here in Arkansas. So whoever come up with this recipe, it's really, they've done a great job. It's really good. It's got just enough seasoning in it and a couple different ingredients that just brings it over the top. Some of y'all may have already ate these green beans before and really love them, but uh, some of y'all probably haven't. So I thought I'd just bring y'all along and show y'all Arkansas green beans. I'm going to put... I've got about six slices of uh, bacon that I've chopped up and I'm just going to put them here in my skillet and I'm going to cook them and I want to cook them till the pieces are done but I don't want them real crispy not for this recipe so that's six slices of smoked peppery smoked bacon cut up I've got about half of an onion chopped up. You can put as much as a, a whole uh, small onion in here if you want to, if you like lots of onions. And then I also, I've got uh, a small little thing of uh, portobello mushrooms that I've cleaned and sliced up. You can use just white button mushrooms. Um, these are fresh mushrooms. They're not canned. And uh, we'll be sauteing these in here, here in just a little bit. And then, of course, our green beans. What I've got here is my home canned green beans. And um, this is two quarts is what this is. Um, you can do two pounds of fresh. Um, I'm trying to think. If you're doing, if you want to do frozen green beans, you want to go ahead and thaw them out in the refrigerator and then you want to make sure to get as much of the water off those green beans. You don't want them real, you don't want your dish real watery. Uh, if you're using store-bought canned green beans, you want to do probably four uh, 15 ounce cans um, of store-bought. But I'll have my recipe wrote down in the uh, description box below the video and I'll have that the amount of green beans that you're going to need for this dish but I'm using two quarts of my home canned green beans what I'm using and that would feed uh, several people two quarts will feed several people besides all the other side dishes that you're going to have on your holiday table so let me get the bacon cooked up and we'll go from there Okay, our bacon is, it's getting there. So what I'm going to do at this point before the bacon gets totally cooked, because this is going to be going in the oven too, is I'm going to put up my diced, it's about a half of a diced onion. We're just going to let that saute just a little bit. 
going up there. It's not cut up very good. So before the bacon got done, I put my onion in here and let that saute. Our onions have been cooking for a couple of minutes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my mushrooms. And I'm going to let... Ooh, I had one I didn't even cut. <laughs> I didn't cut it up. I'm going to let these saute for just a couple minutes too. Let me cut this one up that I overlooked here. Miss Lori's in a hurry after work trying to get some supper cooked. It's already smelling good and looking good. Okay, our mushrooms have been cooking for a couple minutes too. So I'm going to take our green beans that I've drained and I'm going to put them in there. I'm just going to stir all this together. Now, I've not added any salt to this. My bacon's going to be salty. But what I'll do is here in just a little bit I'll taste it for salt because you sure don't want it to be too salty so now now I'm doing this in my uh, little Dutch oven here um, but you can do this in an iron skillet that's the way I do it sometimes with my green beans you can do it and then transfer it into a bigger baking, prettier baking dish before you put it in the oven if you want to. That's just totally up to you. Now right here, I've got a fourth of a cup of melted butter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a fourth of a cup of brown sugar to that. So I've got a fourth a cup of melted butter, a fourth a cup of brown sugar, and I'm going to put a tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce. And then I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder goes my air fryer I'm cooking chicken legs y'all in the air fryer you talk about good chicken legs chicken wings they, it gets them so crispy I'll have to do a video on that so in here I've got a fourth a cup of melted butter a fourth a cup of brown sugar a tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce and a half of a teaspoon of garlic powder now you can put a little bit more garlic if you want to so I'm going to pour this over our green beans and I'm going to give this a good stir And yes, even though the green beans are cooked and everything's cooked, it's going to go in the oven, 350 oven, for about 30 minutes. These green beans are cooked and cooked to death. And to me, that is the best green beans. So, you're going to leave them uncovered. And like I said, you can transfer this to a bigger baking dish if you want to. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of black pepper over the top. And I'm going to put this in the oven. And while it's cooking, I'm going to get my mashed potatoes and everything done. 
and we come back we will look at our green beans and uh, taste them okay here they are straight out of the oven 30 minutes and I went ahead and put them in a different dish and they smell wonderful this is just another way of putting some of the well you know every holiday table has green beans and this is just another way to step it up just a little bit and it is delicious no cream or nothing in this it's really really good so I hope y'all try this recipe Arkansas green beans if you like this video like this recipe give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe because that really helps us so I'll be back in a few days with some more holiday recipes so y'all have a wonderful weekend be safe and we love y'all god bless